everybody. Welcome to the Bushido Battle Report. It's going to be the Edo clan facing the Open Rebellion this time around um, in another 100 race match. Rob's brought in his beautifully painted Kurosawa-inspired sort of black and white themed Bushido stuff uh, to face my clan Edo, the snake folks. Uh, we'll lead into some samurai and have a big old samurai bash. So we'll show the table, show the warbands, and get this underway. So here we have uh, my 100 rice that I'm taking. Uh, we're going with the Serpent's Coil theme, which gives me, during the end phase of a model takes damage due to a poison token. Models with immunity poison gain a key. I'm not gonna get that because I'm not gonna be with immunity poison. But I do have add exploit of Orochi tokens to the pool in the starting phase where X is equal to the number of VPs you score. So this doesn't restrict any of my model selections because I do want to take a bunch of samurai, but they're also heavy men, which means I can't do Lords of Izu. Um, but both these guys have Blood of Orochi, which means that they will gain um, additional poison during the turn. So that means that with my enhancements, I'll take uh, Satoshi with uh, Tsunagi's, Itsunagi's Gambit, which is an enhancement. If the attack model places all of its melee dice into attack, it gets brutal plus one. Um, and then uh, Itsunagi's gonna have the Edo Clan armor. So he's armor three, and enemy damage rolls that are doubles are just ignored, and I get key uh, move boost plus two. So I've got the armor trait, which means I can upgrade. Oh, actually, I can't put it on him. He doesn't have the armor trait. He actually can't take it. I'll have to put it on, I guess, you? All the non-Blood of Orochi models, I'll have Uwami's Tooth on um, Ido, uh, Matsunagi, and then the models that don't have Blood of Orochi will give uh, Poison Blades too, and that puts me at 100. Because I'm always generating two Blood of Orochi, and these guys all have Poison 1-1, one, one, the whole team gets poison. Open Rebellion, we have Tanaka, uh, Yui, uh, Muna, Nobuko, Gorak, Suki's Pack, which is the two wolves, and then Suki uh, herself for the Open Rebellion box set, basically, is the theme. All your models have Scout, uh, zero to two inches. Once per game, declared ability in the starting phase. Any models with marked wound boxes get a minus one to their movement stat, because uh, I'm all like hamstrung. And then once per game in the starting phase, the opposing player loses all their pass tokens and can't generate them. And then your upgrades, you got Primal Howl as an event. When a friendly model uses the pack trait, the other models that activate do not remove activation counters uh, during this activation, which basically means you can drag another model with pack with you. And these guys both have pack, I'm pretty sure. Zero, zero. They all have pack. Oh, sorry, everybody has packs. <laughs> Sweet. So they have zero inch range. So they, they have to get dragged in by somebody else, basically. The wolves are tagging along with other guys, yep. but the tagging along guy doesn't get an activation token. And then full moon is an event. After deployment, use a friendly model at the beginning of the game with initial key token. And that's it. So it's called Sekyu. It's a zone control one with three four inch zones. That's the interior circles on my little uh, CD made zones here that you can see. Uh, at the end of each round, you're going to score scenario points for the most rice in a zone. Uh, so turn it resets on. Um, the turns three and five. And you get a VP if you have the most uh, points. They're all neutral, which means you're scoring two for any of these that you control at the end of a given game turn. For maximum, of, you could score 12 over the course of a turn. Person with the most scenario points gets the VP for the round. For some train, I got a five. Tactical views six. So you get to place the first piece. It's down to six, and then someone gets to say stop. Rob's first player, and we have placed our terrain. We got some forests, which are difficult, some impassables, impassable pillars, uh, difficult for the fences, uh, and then a raised platform with some blocking, um, difficult uh, sort of like crates and stuff. Well, I mean, we've got Isis down, then it's Itsunagi and uh, Masanugi, and then Satoshi and Kenzo on the flank. Scout, you're up front, so on the flank you've got... Yue, Tanaka, uh, no, sorry, Muna, <laughs> uh, Gorak, <laughs> right. uh, Yue, uh, Nobuko, the pack. The pack and Suki. Sweet. That yeah. may not be Nobuko, there's two archers. <laughs> one of the two archers. Yeah. My Blood of Orochi would go to the start of the turn. I'm going to assign one to Isis and one to, e uh, to Kenzo. And then, because they both have Blood of Orochi, I could dump them both on one though. And then I've got two, 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 and two for all the samurais for uh, Key, and you've got one. You've got two on everybody, except for uh, none on the wolves. They don't hold any. So they, they have a key stat for opposing tests, but that's it. And then you have a bonus one from your theme at the start of the game, and you're putting it on... Suki. Sweet. Roll! So you go first in the first round. I got a six, which is pretty good. Snakes are sixes. I'll make you go first. Uh, pass tokens, you've got seven models to my five, so I'll gain two. And digging a walk. Go right there. And becomes tired. Ooh. Pass and force you to commit. You know, those crazy bows. Uh, the die cues are 5, 10, 15. Oof, so you can shoot the table almost, a 24 inch table. Jeez. So once I leave my zone, you're f six inches up now, which means 21. You can shoot three inches from my edge. Go with Nobuko. And she. She's gonna... instead? Yeah. You can take a run or a walk. She's just gonna walk right now. Pass again. Back to you. 
Uh, she will hang out there for now. Hack roll, which is kind of neat. And what is, how does that work? So I have like for Sugi's pack two six, so I can choose two models within six inches that have the pack rule as well. And they'll activate simultaneously and I choose the order of all the activations. Sweet, so basically you could have uh, her go with both wolves. I think they're pack zero, right? Yes. So they, so can, they, can, be, they can be targeted, but they don't they don't initiate it, right? So they yeah, call her only uh, Suki and Gorak can initiate any pack Sweet. activation. And each other too, which is kind of cool. Yep. Uh, so you know what, I'm going to do these guys. Uh, so we're going to do a run right. the wolves. Sweet, so everybody going up uh, one and a half. Yeah, so we should be going. Are they faster than normal? No. Okay. Uh, Everyone's moving Basically to the edge. And they come after her. Moving up, and they will run. We'll run, not that I have any guns, but it could matter for other things. Uh, I'm out of pass tokens, so we're going to go with Isis. He's going to run as well. So he goes seven and a half. When he runs, he is a speedy quick. Over there. He doesn't turn, Ash. What are you doing? Run the direction you're going. And he's all done. Back to you. Uh, Gorak's going to activate. His name's just fun to say. Gorak! He's the old man Logan of the Open Rebellion. See, let's go with Masanugi. He's going to run as well. He goes seven and a half because he's speedy quick and runs to here. Hello, everyone. Let's take a shot. And I ran, which means that you are shooting me on a seven. Pierce, okay, and then precision shot. I can see you have armor. I do have armor too. So you've got to hit a seven. I got three dice. That's a seven, so zero success. And you are, uh, armor, I'm armor two, you're pierce what? Pierce one? Yeah, so you're armor one. Armor one, so minus one of this. Roll a 10 or 11. Uh, tired. Uh, and so she gets a reload token. Goes Satoshi, he's gonna run. Go seven and a half. Straight to there. To you. Wait action, remove that token. Yeah, so you're exhausted. Gonna run. As is tradition, seven and a half. And here, Going for a mid-range shot from your other bowman. Five, six, because I but ran. But I moved. Uh, you moved, did not as part of this action. It's if you choose to move after or before, gotcha. then you get it. It's only the ran is part of the turn. Gotcha. Medium though, I think. Let me see what my base size is for Kenzo. He's hmm. big, he's on a 40. So yeah, you're minus one. So you're on a six again. Sorry, a five again. Cool. Looking for good. That's four, five, six. six. Uh, it'll hit me by one. I'm armor three though, because of my Ego Clan armor. <laughs> Nothing. That's a zero. Big time zero. Because it was a double, I ignore it completely. Even if you were success level 10, I would ignore all the damage. Nice. Uh, let's go with Itsunagi. He's gonna pivot and run. Itsunagi begins the game with two key tokens. Uh, and then his uh, effect, if this model plays all its melee dice into attack, it's brutal plus one until the end of the melee exchange. So he'll run as well. Go seven and a half up to there. Being Itsunagi. Ooh. I need to bait you. I feel like that's the, what the, the wolves want to do. Baiting us out. Just run headlong. I don't think fighting the samurai's head on is going to be a great idea. I know. They're all pretty heavily armored and they're all poisonous and dangerous. I'm going to push into the zone though and try and score six if you don't push in. Yeah. Uh, a single wolf. It's just just going to walk in? Just going to walk in. Sweet. Well, let's go with Itsunagi. Uh, he is. I know it. No, it's good with. You can't shoot anybody else because they're all exhausted. So let's walk up five. Touch them. Be like, what's up, son? I'm 26 points. He's gonna walk. Gonna walk. Toe in. I think it's Sanagi goes. Or not Itsunagi. Um, we'll go with uh, uh, Masanugi. And he'll walk over here and touch the zone. Exhausted. No, you still ran this turn. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter for shooting, yeah. Shooting, yeah. Yeah. Um, bum, bum, bum. Yeah, so I'm going to have Tanakasugi uh, pack activate uh, the remaining wolf. Try and jump. Who's going first? Uh, it's going to be wolf. Wolf. Do a melee. He's going to go in. Okay. So we make a melee exchange. I turn to face. All right, I'm going to Cobra Strike you for two. And gain lightning reflexes until the end of the round. Defense, sweet. So I've got three dice because I'm exhausted. And I will not sidestep defense because I'm not putting any dice in defense. <laughs> Can I hit? 
Uh, I got a six and two fours. I won't bother rerolling anything right now with my mana cards. Seven to my eight. Success level one uh, and poison one. So if I do damage here, and I'm plus two damage. Plus two damage. That's an 11 cool. on success one. You take three damage plus a poison. You went on defense and you're exhausted. There. And so she's going to move in. I still have lightning reflexes, remember? Which does? I go first. Until the end of the round. Oh, gotcha. Uh, let, let's just double check it's not until the end of the exchange. Uh, until the end phase, yeah. Cobra strike. Well, we. I'm, I am minus one dice though. No, I'm only two dice. Uh, so, according to attack, it's going to give you an extra die. Yep. And I'm at two, uh, two fight dice right now. Keep an extra die. Yep. And so you're at total of how many? Uh, five. Okay. Two to your five. Yep. When I, I got go three attack, two defense. Both into um, defense. Okay. Let me see regular attack. So, three attack. So, six total. Melee prowess. So six total. six total. I got a six total as well. Mm -hmm. So six has zero. It's actually it's seven rather. Seven six plus one. Yeah. So nothing hits. Get you back, and we're both exhausted. I was gonna die at the end of the round from poison, which yep. is sweet. I can do other things, like send you in, or you could just go walk and touch the zone, which I feel like is better. That's what you're gonna do. You'll pivot and walk your five, and just go be in the. Oh Jesus, things being annoying. Go be in the zone. Over here. Gorak. He's just gonna walk up. I gotta I gotta tow into this stuff. Sweet. Alright, well, we're gonna take the zone back. And we'll just walk in seven. And become exhausted. No, sorry, walk in five rather, and then walk in five. And become exhausted. And so that puts me at uh twenty-three plus 21 is 44 for that one. I'm unopposed in this one. Uh, and then I've got Ido is going to be, sorry, Masanugi is going to be 19 and Isis is 10. I so 20, points. I have 29. Yeah, but he's going to die in the end phase. 27 to 29, which means I'll score that one too. Yeah. And I'll go to three because he'll take poison. And that's going to give me an extra blood of Orochi token from... Serpent Squirrel. It's extra key po tokens to people with immunity poison. I don't have anyone with that, so that doesn't do jack for me. Do uh, we're at no exhausted tokens, and we're ahead to six. One pass token now because you have six to my five, and we're rolling. To see who's going first. Gee, I'll put um, one each again on Isis and Ito, or sorry, Kenzo rather, and then I'm going up one key here, two on Masanugi. Kenzo, two on Itsunagi, and two on Satoshi. <laughs> uh, Itsunagi is ready to go. So let's see who's going first. Tactical roll. Big numbers, no whammy. It's a five. It's a two. So you can choose. Uh, you doing it. Get in there. Who's going first? Now, I have reach on him. So unless you surprise me, I do get to go first. But I think you have reach as well, don't you? Yeah, I have reach on both Gorak and on... Uh, Got it. On you. Uh, I have... Unassailable and defensive stroke, which won't really help. I have Dokote on both Itsunagi and Kenzo. Who's who's the least likely to survive of these two? Satoshi, because he's got the armor three. Cool. And the ignore doubles on damage rolls. So I'm gonna go against that thing, because he's the one that does have reach though, so worth remembering. Exactly. Counter right then. Yep. Uh, and he does not have Dokote, so no no lightning reflexes. It's not Gagora. Or no Cobra Strike, rather, sorry. Is gonna activate. Uh, pack activate with uh, Yui. Um, bum, 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 bum. Uh, so she's going to move an amount. Uh, she's just going to go there. Okay, so we pivot to face each other. Great. Spend a key for some vicious strikes. So you get some pierce. Yep. Uh, my pool is currently three on Satoshi. Yeah, keep used to four. I'm gonna spend two actually for defensive stroke, which means that I get to parry plus one. You parry one, so I'm parry plus two. Oh. Fours. Yep, I'm on three. And let's do some dice. Showing them off. I got three defense. Four attack. Okay. Uh, and I'm just doing regular attack with the Naginata. That looks uh, like eight. Uh, I promise. Sweet. Still eight. <laughs> Seven, eight. I can tie it. Uh, I can force reroll the six, which I will, and the five. Force me to roll both? Yeah, I have parry two. Ugh. 
Make it worse. Ah, so we got five total. Yeah. And I get an eight. I have seen you fought with sticks before then. And we both become tired. Hack fight me. I turn to face. And you've got your bonus for extra guy. Yep. Uh, also reach with the uh, Nodaichi. Okay. That gives me three plus a four. I've got three uh, goes to two now. Boost. Strike. Boost. Uh, remove to five dice total. Okay. Uh, I got two dice. Uh, one for powerful attack. Yep. Okay. Four attack. I'm doing one and one. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna live. Powerful attack. What you got? All right. I got that. Gonna roll. No. Okay. I'm gonna parry the six and the four. I thought you might. And five and a two. So five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna get one die. I can't do much here, but we can parry something. Four. So you'd be successful with four. Do I reroll it? No, I'm not gonna reroll it. So for success four. And your powerful attack for plus two. I'm armor two, so it's a straight fight. Uh, I'm also plus two, so still so dice plus two. Dice plus two on four. Six. Oh, I gave myself a uh, pierce with that vicious. Pierce one. Okay, so plus two more. So eight, four damage. I'm alive. Let's see if I hit you. I'm damage plus two. We're both going to go out. So that's going to be on success level three. Plus two, do you have any armor on? No. Okay. Plus two damage it is. <sighs> Hell yeah. <laughs> four. Dude, yeah. just anything. Just, just anything else. That would have been good. There we go. That would have been six damage. Exhausted. Or I'm exhausted, sorry. I get to go. Uh, I think Itsunagi's gonna make an example to you. <laughs> He's gonna do a melee action and walk over here and be like, hello, nerd. You're poisoned. Everybody's poisoned. Um, and then Itsunagi's going to attack you. Spend two for Dokote. Two for extra dice. So I'm gonna have five dice. Fired. Uh, so you've got three. Combo attack, because I can. And uh, it costs me zero, and I'm pierce one. So, hi, uh. All, all right, uh, we got four to attack, three and one in defense to play it safe. And I roll. I'll just keep it. That's gonna be a nine. I'm brutal for ten. You got a five, six, seven. Uh, I'm actually not brutal. I'm just on a nine. Yep. And you got what a six? Seven. seven. So I've got a two. two. Which means I get two rolls. Plus one. First one. Ten on two is three damage. Striking down at zero. Plus one. Eight is nothing. Poisoned. It's fasted. That's okay. Gorak's gonna go, yeah. The Satoshi? One, Cause Sweet. he actually gets plus one to his melee pool for uh, models that are exhausted. Sweet. He's fighting. Well, okay. Uh, I'm going to, you've already attacked me. I've, I've got my defensive stroke until the end phase. So I'm parry two. I might as well just fight. Fire dice. Yeah. I'm exhausted for two. Uh, I'm gonna push defense you, I think. Zero. So might as well. And reveal. All five of an attack. Two in defense. Big numbers, no enemy. Uh, I will re-roll. I should always do that before your thing. Okay, you can re-roll two oh, sixes. sixes. Yep. For uh, parry. Still six. So and seven, I will re-roll one of these, because I have melee prowess. I get a six. So I get a seven. Ten. So success three. And a three. Plus two, but you have armor, right? I'm armor two, yeah. I'm armor two, so it's just flat. Dice. So roll a seven or, sorry, so roll five or less. Six, six. you do two damage, and that kills me. Blam, but you become exhausted. Okay. Uh, Itsunagi's gonna go. He's gonna move into the zone mm -hmm. and fight both of you. And Dokote is just current action. So I'll Dokote again. Care. You have you have endurance, yep. which means you don't care about exhausted. So how many yep. dice do you have in your pools? Uh, three each. Do I want to split attack? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna attack this guy, actually, I think. Coordinate attack when I attack both of you? Oh, if the model is in a melee exchange and one or more friendly description. Well, then, then let's just face. not touch that other guy. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. We'll just fight one so of you. That's what the wolves do. I'll just be in the thing. That's that's amazing, actually. Hell yeah, it is. Because um, I'm not engaged with him, so you would actually you'd get it no matter what, because actually it doesn't even matter. So I won't engage that guy. I'll just fight the one. Zone. So we'll move into the zone. Uh, I got four dice. Three dice. All defense. All attack. I'm uh, sorry. Black is defense. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It does matter. I got. That I'll melee prowess to reroll one and have a total of eight. eight. Uh, Do I want to faint? 
No, I won't bother. Cross one of those. That uh, wasn't good. Seven. <laughs> five to an eight, so I'm success level three. I'm almost striking down twice, so on three and I'm plus one. Uh, you take eight, nine. Yeah, she Four damage. Kabloom. It's an Aggie is exhausted. You want to shoot here? Yeah. I'm going to fork it. It's an Aggie. Oh, no, she had to reload. So she could wait to reload now? Yeah. And she can still move and shoot later, right? Just to reload? Wait. Well, then, I guess we go with Isis. Or do we go with Masanagi? We'll go with Masanagi. Uh, he is going to fight to do a melee attack, and he's going to move himself to here before he does it, just to be centered in the zone. Four. Do you have anything that's going to take the initiative? Uh, on Suki, no, she doesn't reach or anything. Okay. We'll use an instant, uh, sorry, um, an active one for cleave. Uh, okay, so I'm defending on three dice. Brutal plus two. Drag defense, yeah. sweet. Uh, so revealing dice, I have four. Three defense. All in attack. All in defense. Hit it. I got uh, six, but I'll reroll this one with melee pros. And that'll put me at a 9 total, 10, 11, because of Brutal. You got a 4, 5, 6. Uh, I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to... Too I'm, risky. <laughs> I'm success 5. Uh, so damn. with plus 2 damage. No. Okay, so 2 damage. That's a 9 on 5. You are taking 6 damage. Oh, sorry. I thought she did... Okay, she's just dead. <laughs> Jesus. Kaboom. Yeah, Cleave is Cleave is real good. Poisoned if it wasn't for the fact that she was dead. Yeah. Moon fire. I mean short range for sure against Itsunagi if you want to try and hit him. That's what I'm going for. Uh definitely in short range. Remember short range is four. Uh, I am dodge and range defense two. Seven overall. Uh, four, five for moving, six, seven range defense. Yeah, because I slap arrows out of the way. With its noggy. Uh, and you've got how many dice? Three. Three. Hit it. Going for a second. That'll do it. Seven, Seven eight. eight. So success one. Hell yeah. Armor nothing. I don't wear armor. I'm shirtless. Uh, Big shirtless uh, it's an Aggie. Nothing fancy on this weapon. He's a bit of a glass cannon. He only has five health. Four? Zero. He has low health to go with his no armor. Um, okay, well he's exhausted. He's exhausted. It's Doggo. And Arrow Boy. Yeah. It's Nagi, or sorry, Masanugi. Go, uh, go make an example. So another melee action. Cleave twice though, because I'm out of uh, stuff, so I'm just four dice. Two. Fight the dog to two. All right, so four to two. Reveal. Defense. I'll attack. All right. We'll reveal that for melee pros. Have a, t a nine. That's not bad. Five, six. Three, and I'm plus two damage. Give me armor. No. Armor dog? <laughs> okay. Dog. Uh, 11 on 3 is 5 damage. Yeah. Dies. Bark! Oof. And he's exhausted. Brother Archer. Your Sterling Archer. He's gonna go 4. Uh, basically to there. Take a shot? Uh, yeah, he's gonna try and take a shot. You could kill Isis in one go. He's not he's very easy to do. My medium oh, damage. it's nice. Sweet. So medium and move will be five, six, seven, eight for range defense. Uh, I'm going to... He can literally die from a single hit though. He's he's pantsless or shirtless and five health. He doesn't wearing shoes. I'm for a fourth die, all right, hit it. Hit that eight. You did. Five, exactly. Six, eight. So zero to zero success. Uh, roll big, roll better than eight, nine plus. Are you plus anything? Eight? Plus. Yeah, plus one. So nine, do one damage. Tired? Well, let's go with you, Kenzo. Uh, you're just gonna walk around, because you're already in zone, so you actually can't, whoops, you actually can't leave it right now and do a melee action. Uh, you're tireless, but you, or not tireless, you're um, not fatigable. So you don't lose the exhausted one, but you are outnumbered now. Oh no, I'm not engaging you, never mind with uh, with Night. Yeah. just one guy. Yep. So I'll just walk around you and fuck. I got four dice. Anything that happens in my activation? Not really. I will docote for two. Three dice to my four. Yep. So revealing. On attack. Okay. I'm doing sidestep defense. Sidestep defense. 
Uh, I'm going to melee. Well, I got worse. Oh six God, total. I might actually. Six have total. This. With melee prowess. Mm, six. six, so six out of zero. Damage plus one with his Naginata. Norm. And that's an 11. So you take two and you're poisoned. Two levels Another of poison. Another poison. Level ones, so you'll take one extra at the end of this. Yep. Uh, and he goes to tired and then he fights again. And again over here. And uh, I'm still on four. Defense, sweet, I'm gonna hit you. Hope not. Oh, I doko tade too and totally forgot to make you reroll something. Doesn't matter. I get reroll that for melee press. Uh, nine total? You can reroll the five. Sure can. After you melee prowess. So you get a four. For faint. There you go. So four, five, six to my nine. Success three with plus one. That'll be a seven. On three is three dice. damage. Goes to five, but the poison will kill him at the end of the round. Oh, I've got him who can go twice, but I'm just going to move and stay in the zone. MVP at the end of the round, and it's round three, and everything resets. All right, so Key, it's not he's going to get two. Kenzel's going to get two. Uh, uh, get token. I get an extra blood of Oroshi now, so I'm going to put it onto Kenzo. Uh, Master Nagi's going to get two, and I get one on Isis. Fast tokens, top of three. And Serpent's Crawl is what's giving me the extra blood of Roshi token, because it's equal to my VPs. So let's see what's first. Tactical roll. I got a six. Two one. Oh, Kenzo, you're going to have to go make an example out of this guy. Oh, we can send Masanugi. We'll send Kenzo. We'll just pivot and lock over here for a melee. Against Muna. Three. Okay. So your melee pool is going up by one. I'm going to spend two just for Dokote. So I have a feint. Four dice. Defense. All attack. See if I got. I'll reroll a three. Still a three. And I'm doing a push defense. Okay, I got an eight total. You get a nine, I'll make you reroll at uh, six. You, do you have melee prowess? I do, but. You're not gonna risk it? <laughs> Fair. <laughs> now you can reroll it. Can you reroll? I think you can, yeah. I'm not sure what the order is. It, doesn't, it, it means it's not a zero. Yeah. So you've got a, I have Thanks. a eight to seven. your seven. So success one. A damage plus one for his Naginata on success one. Hell yeah. No damage, which means no poison. Fair, fair. In, in no universe am I gonna feel bad I wouldn't feel bad with that. No, I wouldn't feel bad with that at all. I'm tired. In a charge, going big. Yeah. In melee, I'm at numbered pack hunter, you know, a million dice here. So I'll pivot. Do you have any way of not going second though? No. Because of reach. It's oh no, I think I have to not be engaged at the beginning. Good, because I, I was already engaged, so I don't I lose my reach basically. I could Cobra Strike. Which is maybe worth doing for two. I will actually, I'll Cobra Strike. Gain lightning reflexes. Ready for some feints? Yeah, is that the right thing to do? Three, three four for the outnumbering. For the outnumbering. And I'm four down to three because you outnumber me. Yeah. Alright, so I'm going first because lightning reflexes. Uh three dice to your four, revealing pools. One attack, three defense. Mmm, two attack, one defense. All right, so two into attack. I got a four goes to five. I'm gonna reroll for melee prowess. Still same thing, five. Defense. You're good. Uh, six, seven. Yep. One. one. Back. I've lived at least. Hey, hey. Don't oh, faint. baby. Faint. <laughs> Two. Success two. Two. Three. I'm armor three. So and if you're all doubles, I ignore this completely. Because of the armor of Ito clan. Uh, this is be a six. So six is on three. Three damage. I'm exhausted now. Uh, Masanuki's going in. Or sorry, it's Nagi's going in rather. What's up? Oh boy, you're messing with. That's blue. <laughs> all right, let's do this. So we're not doubling base to base. Uh, and you get to fight It's an Two for Dokote for faint. And I got a pool of four. You get four? Four, yeah. Four to three. So showing off. Ooh. Attack to defense. I get brutal because I put all my dice into it. Uh, I'll reroll a two just to see if I can get a six. I do. So that's a ten. Because of brutal. Gross. Gross! Tier three dice. Uh, Dokote, oh, you can reroll that for a thing. To two, I'll make you reroll the five with uh, Dokote. Comes a four, so six to ten. 
Success four. Means three rolls for combo strike. So success four. 11 on four, six damage. I think, I think he's just dead. And I become tired. Am I exhausted, Snake? Uh, I do. You also pass if you want to wait, but then Mass Snake is just gonna come yeah, kill no you. Way. Or it's Nagi, rather. Uh, you know Snake what? might die, he's only got three health left. You have offed like almost half my warband. Too worried. So this is. I'll have a pool of three because I'm exhausted dead. for Kenzo. I'm Double. still Blood of Orochi, so I'm going first, remember. Or Cobra Strike, rather. It's until the end phase. Feeling? Three attack, one defense. All right, two defense, one attack. Do your attack. Oh, I'm going first, actually. Yep. You get one defense. Ooh. Five, I'll just keep it. Two. Melee prowess. Six. Baby. I don't know, brutal either. Go to your attacks. I'm okay with that. Oh, okay. Well, that's an eight. I got a melee pro is that one. So I got a seven. Success one. That's one of this roll. I'm out with three. Minus two. Minus two to roll. So seven on one is one damage. It's not he's gonna be like, hello. Welcome to snakes. To face the glass cannon that is it's Nagi. Um, he is four dice. I've used my dice for faints. I can't do anything else. To die for yeah, for being outnumbered, but not for being exhausted, because you have endurance. Two. Two dice? Oh, I've well, got it's defense. Hey, look, it's attack. So and I'm push defense. Why not? Okay, yeah. and I'll gain brutal because everything's a new attack, and I have well, number one. The, the ability to do that. So I'm gonna have a ten again. Whoa! -ho! <laughs> ten to four. four. Oh, Success no. six is four combo strike rolls. <laughs> so combo strike uh, nine on six is seven damage. Oh, look, he died. That guy is no longer alive. Uh, and that means, and a turn I score two, Oof. so I'm gonna score one, score one, and it'll be three nothing under the game. So there we go, end of the game, the Edo Kang taking it home against the Rebellion, the Open Rebellion. Um, definitely, uh, I think a not head-on type of faction. They would have done really well to kind of like loop over and change the axis of the game and not fight the Samurais one-on-one. -on -one. Because their pack tactics meant that I would be, ex they could pick a model and exhaust it in a single activation where if I'm not tireless, I, I can basically get like isolated, exposed, and then killed off one by one. So I think there was a combination thereof. Um, the Open Rebellion playing into the Edo's tactics of just being like brawler samurais uh, with the list I built and then walking into the middle uh, and their sort of like inherent like strength um, not being that great in this one where there's three equally spaced zones, right? Their speed and pack tactics not really playing into that scenario. So. We'll see you for more Bushido in the future. Thanks for watching. Thanks a lot, Mash. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you uh, want to support the channel, of course, like and subscribe and hit the little bell below so you get notifications when I post future content. I do post stuff seven days a week. Uh, if you want to support the channel um, further, you can, of course, buy a t-shirt through Spreadshirts, um, buy a measuring gauge or objective markers from Desperate Designs. Um, or, of course, most importantly, there is Patreon. Patreon is what makes all this possible. Uh, keeps the lights on, pays for the studio costs, pays for the equipment, model costs, and everything else. And most importantly, um, puts food in my kids' bellies and a roof over their heads. Uh, big thanks to everyone past, future who supported me. Uh, I do this stuff because of you guys, and of course, I will continue doing it as long as I can.